Um, today we're in a different bathroom and we're going to um, demonstrate what we're calling triple braids and double buns. So they're re it's really, really cute. So, okay. All right. First of all, I'm going to start with I braided just her bangs here. I went ahead and did that ahead of time. And my hair is wavy for him because I had a braid in my hair. So. Okay. And then I'm going to split it down the middle. And it'd probably be better if you turned around. Okay. I'm going to split it down the middle. Like two ponytails. Okay. And I'm going to braid each of the sides. Pull it up and Okay. I'm going to put pigtails first. Mm. It doesn't matter how high you want it. Like, we like to use ponytails first, like, because it's, like, it doesn't pull on your hair. These, um, are ponytails, our little, like, ones. These, um, don't, are tight enough, and my, the rubber bands, the, Okay, and then I'm going to braid the pigtail here. And then the rubber bands. Do you have another rubber band for this one? Yeah. You're just going to give me the rubber band? Yeah. And then the rubber bands that we have, um, whenever we try to put it in pigtails, it hurts whenever I took it out. So, I didn't like that. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and put the rubber band in the bottom there. And I like to twist the braid. Twist it, twist it, twist it. It might be easier if you try not to twist it. See, because it sticks up. Oh, that's cute. Oh, keep it like that. And I'm going to wrap that around there. So do you want to use a cloth one or a rubber band? A cloth one. Okay. And I'm going to use these white ones because I use these white ones a lot whenever I'm, whenever I'm just playing with my hair. And it actually, like whenever I take them out, they're pretty loose. So I'm going to use the cloth. I could only get one around. Is that good? Yeah, that looks okay. good. All right. So, braid that in there or not? No. Just keep okay, that Okay, we're going to leave the side little ponytail out. For right now, and then once we put the ponytail in, then we'll put that in there. Oops. Take that. You do want me to take it? Yeah. All right. See how we made ours even? If they're not even, I'm going to tighten that. If they're not even, then you, like whenever you're tightening it, then push it up and it looks okay. really cute. So, now I'm going to break the pigtail Did up. Did you take, the, take this out? It's in there. I know, take the elastic out. Oh. I'll take the elastic out, I see what you mean. Okay, so now I'm going to break, I'm going to tighten that up one more yeah, time. Yeah, that tight. Okay, so now we took the elastic out of the little braid, as you can see. Now we're just going to break this up into three parts. Um, I'm going to leave the braid, did one in can the middle. Can you tighten that, please? Thank you. Okay. This is super and cute. And I'm going to try to like keep that on top so that you can always see that down the braid. And this is a really cute hairstyle that I'm going to be probably wearing a lot on the beach. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, do you have the rubber ponytail for me? Yes, I do. I'm going to braid all the way to the bottom as far as I can get. And then I'm going to take the rubber pony, wrap it around. Okay, and then again, I like to twist it. I think it stays better. Especially with these little And then wrap ones. it all the way around there so that it's tight. I don't like to have mine like so much pressed up against my head because then it doesn't really show very good. Okay, I'm just gonna unless I know what you're doing. Put that on there, stick the flyaways in, and there you go. She's all done. Let me show you the back. And there is the finished.